Hi guys, welcome to the Exit Light channel. Firstly, I would like to just give you an update on Tracy. Tracy is now home from hospital and she's still really poorly, but she's home. And hopefully um, in the next couple of weeks we will be doing a podcast. And she really, really appreciates all your messages of support and get wells. So thank you guys, really, really appreciate that. And, you know, all we can do is be there to support her. And today I am going to do, we're going to do a podcast about this. So I just thought I would do um, a little a little video, <coughs> excuse me, about haunted hospitals. Um, something that popped its head up. I think during the 31 days of Halloween um it is a really really rabbit hole type once you start it it can take you lots and lots of places but anyway <coughs> excuse me I've got um allergies firstly we are going to go to Florida in the United States of America obviously First on the list is a hospital located in Florida, USA, known to be to many by its gruesome history. The Royal Hope Hospital. We have a Hope Hospital in Manchester, but that's completely irrelevant. The Royal Hope Hospital was a Spanish military hospital from 1784 to 1821 and was eventually demolished through time. Finally, a replica of the original hospital was built to house the victims of the Seminole War. I hope I've said that right. S-E-M-I-N-O-L-E, Seminole War. However, there were city workers who were about to repair the water lines and penetrated the area of the old building they found out that the hospital was originally built on what appeared to be an ancient Native American burial ground. And that's when the shit hit the fan. Visitors to the Spanish Military Hospital Museum would often mention qualities of groans and shouts coming from the occupied rooms, adding up to the chill. Real ill Real ill beds moving out of place, beverages jars sliding across over outside seats, and the frequently sound of feet marching in an unfilled upstairs region. Frequently, frequently encounters of strange events and apparitions, sightings was told, and are still experienced by guests to this day. Paranormal experts once claimed that the place is a real breeding ground of haunted Florida soul and paranormal movement. And according to them, these sorts of haunted inclines to be present in these zones where humans feeling an emotion. Pretty much what I think they're trying to say is sort of the stone tape theory again, that there's been such a lot of death and trauma and um and, a, and negative emotions that that now is 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 coming is coming out today when people go to visit and this wasn't um a particularly well worded that was a nice trace but you get the gist of what I was trying to um, try to say. Right, Canada. Tranquil Sanitarium in sunny Canada. The Tranquil Sanitarium was built in 1907 as a ranch before the owners began caring for tuberculosis patients. A small community town of Tranquil was built around it. The community as its beautiful gardens, houses, a farm, a fire department, 
and more facilities. In 1958, the hospital closed and was reopened in 1959 to treat the mentally ill. It closed permanently in, in 1983. However, not everything was as tranquil as the sanitarium. Spirits persist in knocking about the place. This must have been wrote by a ten-year-old. The years of isolation and sadness seem to have been absorbed into the surroundings and on occasions these emotions can be felt by the living and haunted encounters can occur. Can occur. It would seem that the tranquil sanitarium just might be haunted. Today, strange floating orbs throughout the facility, inexplicable feelings of sadness, unease and dramatic temperature changes still invade the place. There have also been stories about mysterious, I'm making words up again, the mysterious voices and ghostly figures one of which is of a nurse who was brutally murdered by a patient. That sounds like a fun place to visit. Yeah, I'll put that on my bucket list. Oh, we're coming back over to the UK now. Severals Hospital in England. Severals Hospital in Colchester, Essex, United Kingdom. Now, for people that don't know, Colchester, Essex. Es Essex is just outside of London. So it's in the south of the country. So um, United Kingdom was, was a psychiatric hospital built in 1910 to the designs of ancient, of, of architect Frank Whitmore. It opened in May 1913 and housed some 2,000 patients. That's crazy. I'm only saying that because I'm looking at a picture of the place and it doesn't look like it could hold... 500, let alone 2,000. Most of the buildings are in the Queen Anne style. A few architectural embellishments typical of the Edwardian period. The most ornate buildings are the Administration Building, Larch House and Severals House, formerly the Medical Superintendent's Residence. The reputation of being extremely haunted in this context should come as a surprise. The hospital closed as a psychiatric hospital in the early 1990s, following the closure of other medical institutions, mental institutions, I should say. However, a small section remained open until the 20th of March 1997 for the treatment of elderly patients suffering from the effects of severe strokes, well, that's perfect, isn't it? You close it down and then you put people with who've had severe strokes who can't move. Some of them won't be able to communicate and you put them in a haunted hospital. That is just... That is, that is just... I'm shaking my head and I've got my hands up because that is just ridiculous. However, ghost hunters are still very interested in the place in search of encounters of the critical kind. Crazy times. The Whittingham, Whittingham Hospital in England. Whittingham, Whittingham Hospital was a psychiat psychiatric hospital in the parish of Whittingham near Preston, Lancashire. Well, that's not far from where I'm from. England, it opened in 1873 as the 4th Lancashire County Asylum and grew to be the largest mental hospital in Britain. However, in 1967, a year before I was born, the hospital faced, a con faced controversy involving complaints of mistreatment in two male and two female wards in the St Luke's division, with the worst being in Ward 16 for women. Complaints were reported such as patients being locked in small rooms, under staircases, in washrooms, and outside in the airing courts, regardless of the weather. Others include patients being dragged by their hair, a wet, a wet towel treatment where a damp towel would be wrapped around the patient's neck to induce unconsciousness. Nurses setting, nurses setting fire to patients' clothing while being worn, beating and vermin infestation. 
Wow. An investigation took place and as a result both had male nurse and the matron took early retirement. Two male nurses were convicted of theft and in a separate incident other nurses were jailed for manslaughter after an elderly patient he had assaulted had died. The negative <laughs> negative energy the negative Im ne <laughs> cling on the negative imagery of this hospital exists for a reason. It offers a kind of hauntings that most likely would never you would never want to encounter. Right, let's have a look where else we've got. Well, that's it for today, Freight. That's it for today, folks. Like I said, we are going to be doing a podcast on this because there are lots and lots of... Um, um, roads you can go down me and Tracy are very alike but one thing that part that differs from us I don't like being at hospital I don't like being in hospital overnight it's it scares me now I'm not the kind of person to get scared easily Tracy on the other hand likes being in a hospital over well, she doesn't like it but um it doesn't bother her as much as it does me so this is um should be a really, really interesting podcast because we're going to be looking at nurses' stories as well of their of their harrowing stories that they might have. Anyway, guys, I will leave you in peace. Remember, God bless. Look after each other, and me and Tracy will he me and Tracy will be here. We'll be back again soon, and back things back to normal. Take care. And remember to hit that like button, please. And if you're not subscribed, you know the score. And share the video, please, mates.